Hi friends, hi students. How are you? You must be fine, fit and fine, fighting this corona and this pandemic situation. So it has been a long break and a long gap for our subject. And now we are starting this online video lectures for you. Great, isn't it? Okay. So as you know, we are going to see or we are going to study one of your subject that is digital techniques, which is also called as digital electronics or digital circuit. The short form is DTE and we have subject code as 22320. So before going to further lectures, let me first introduce myself. My name is uh, Mr. Dinesh Dar and uh, I am a lecturer in Electronics and Telecom Engineering Department or at MIT Polytechnic. And I have completed my ME in Electronics from Government Engineering College of Aurangabad and also I have done my postgraduate diploma in wireless and mobile computing. These are my contact details. You can anytime call me for any doubts regarding this subject. All right. So let us see what are the contents we are going to see uh, in this uh, subject. So what is the teaching learning scheme available for this subject? Why this subject? Why are we supposed to study this subject? What is the importance of saying it other way? What is the importance of this subject? Then what is the syllabus? What subject contains we are supposed to cover in this subject? Course outcome. Now uh, instead of subject somewhere uh, we may be using this word course because in your this scheme, I scheme, this subject is treated as a course and we are supposed to see some outcomes of this course. So what are those outcomes? Then certain ground rules. Now to have effective teaching and effective learning experience from both from my side and your side, we need to set some ground rules. If you follow that ground rules, you will really enjoy this subject. And then we will see what is electronics. Now, since the subject is digital electronics or digital techniques, I uh, will start our discussion with what is electronics. And then we will see a short classification of uh, electronic circuits. And then uh, we will go on to see examples of digital circuits. Okay. So, let us start with teaching learning scheme. Now, you can see this course uh, code is given as I have already discussed digital techniques and course code is 22320. Uh, this subject is common for both computer and electronic engineering group so, CO and EJ, third semester it is and digital techniques. So, this is a teaching uh, and examination scheme. Well, I won't be explaining this right now. We will see uh, this in upcoming lectures. Then uh, you can see this uh, emoji it's saying oh why? So as I said why this subject? What is the importance of this subject? Now you as an electronics or computer engineering uh, engineering students why are you supposed to study this subject? Isn't it a very important question? Yes it is. And if you just think that why? You know, most of the time I get this answer from students like, yes, because uh, as it is included in my syllabus, right? <laughs> okay. But again, the question comes that why it is included in your syllabus? Now, this answer will give you the importance of this subject in our curriculum or you need to uh, study, you need to know 
this digital techniques as you being a computer or electronics engineer. Now there could be so many uh, different reasons you might be thinking. The MSBT in their syllabus of this subject they have given the rational and the importance of this subject. If you just read this subject you will understand. In the present scenario most of the electronic equipments like computers, mobiles, music systems, ATMs are based on digital circuits. So see there you and you can see that so many uh, equipment, so many devices they are digital circuits which the diploma electronic engineer or a computer engineer called technologist have to test them. So consider that uh, you are in some of the uh, this company equipment based company and uh, there is uh, some fault you find in the device and you are suppose you are asked to you know repair that. So to repair you must first know about the circuit about that equipment. Right. So knowledge of the basic logic gates, combinational and sequential circuits using discrete gates and these are some contents and uh, you will be uh, and student should be able to interpret the working of all of them okay. and a competency is given so in Marathi competency means Kshamata so uh, which competency of you would be developed once you complete this subject so you are supposed to build or test digital logic circuits consist of digital IC okay so after completing the subject you will understand that what is digital circuit what is digital or what is logical circuit or what are this uh, digital IC okay and once your this why is understood or why is you know answered then this question becomes very easy who I am going to learn this subject what we are going to see what contents we are going to learn this subject where no, uh, as far as current situation is concerned and online or you are going to study okay when in the lectures uh, after the lectures or when assignments are given how going through this video lectures going through notes or solving the assignments or uh, looking at the question papers previous question papers so this is how you are going to study this subject now uh, very quickly we can see what contains do we have uh, in this uh, MSBT uh, syllabus? So, here there is a syllabus given. We can see we have uh, total five chapters for this. So, in first, we are going to see number systems, then uh, logic gates and logic families, combinational logic circuits, sequential logic circuits and data converters. Ok, so we will be uh, you know shortly describing or discussing about this syllabus as and when required. So I am not going to put much of time right now here to explain this syllabus. Now uh, as I said course, this subject is also called as course. So any of your subject is also called as course and there are certain course outcomes like uh, course outcomes means aim. Why are we uh, going to study this subject or what are we going to achieve after learning this subject. So there are outcomes at the outside or at the output side. Students are expected to demonstrate following industry oriented skills. Now they are specifically saying industry oriented means what the industry requires that course outcomes or that aim we are supposed to fulfill by learning this subject. So it is use number systems and codes for interpreting working of digital systems and use boolean expressions to realize logic gates then build simple combinational circuits, build simple sequential circuits and test data converter and field is in digital electronic systems. Now uh, just while discussing we will be uh, looking at each and every point mentioned in this COs like number systems, 
and what is this boolean expression combinational logic sequential logic and what are the data conversion we'll be seeing that but as of now you need to understand that these are our aims so at the end of this course or at the end of uh, this semester you are supposed to demonstrate this following thing now ground rules now as i said for uh, just for smooth and effective teaching learning experience teaching experience at my side and learning experience at your side you need to set some rules what are they students always need to have a pen and notebook ready with you for this lecture without pen and uh, you know paper or notebook you won't you won't be able to understand that uh, or said it another way you will find it very easy or interesting um, this subject if you have ready uh, pen and notebook with you students need to solve the assignment as and when given within the given time so you know uh, one part of learning any subject is following the assignment and following the assignment given in specific time so you are supposed to solve the assignment as and when given be curious yes be curious like why this what is this what is this digital system or how uh, this digital system is used in digital uh, you know Uh, number system is used in digital system what is a uh, specific number system or what is logic gates so you can generate so many questions only if you are being curious put put so that upon you ha and uh, the doubts related to this can be asked on whatsapp on my whatsapp number at any time okay you need to have patience during this lecture. now that is very important as uh, we are going to meet online you need to have patience to go through this uh, any uh, online videos of any uh, subject you know then basically yes you need to think think and think in this subject because this subject is totally logical totally logical you are just uh, supposed to think now you need to uh, you know increase your thinking power so that is what this subject demand now as i said what is electronics now as the name of this subject is digital electronics now on digital we'll be uh, discussing later on but if you see the word digital electronics what is electronics you might have studied in your uh, previous subject uh, basic electronics okay so the all what all you studied in uh, basic electronics is a part of electronics right and that we call as analog electronics right it is called the branch of physics and technology i'm not using a technical student okay concerned with design of circuits specifically using transistors and microchips now again these microchips are made up of transistor itself so it basically becomes transistor okay and transistors are all called as semiconducting device if you remember this and not only limited to this it is study design and application of behavior and moment of electron now this is very important now you have already seen this but just to recall moment of electrons that is flow of current in semiconductor conductor vacuum of gas so most of the electronic equipments are semiconductor like uh, they are partly conductor partly insulator but as we increase the temperature or the input voltage they turn out to be conductor and start conducting where there is a moment of electron now moment of electrons is called as flow of current so this all study design and application of all these uh, components where there is a flow of current is a part of electronics okay now 
if you just see the classification of electrons then you will understand that what we have already studied and what we are going to study further this is a short classification of electron or you can say elect uh, circuit electronic circuit in a broader sense are classified as analog electronics and digital electronics right now in your last semester you have studied basic electronics basic electronics is complete the part of analog electronics because in that you have seen all everything related to analog that is sine wave right um, for example analog to you know ac to dc ac wave form is converted to dc with help of uh, the four stages transformer rectifier filter and voltage regulator right so there you see the first input is uh, sine wave so that is analog any signal which changes uh, its amplitude time to time or it is time dependent they are called as analog signals and the circuit which deals with these analog signals are called analog electronics now this analog electronics can again be further divided into low voltage or low power that we all have again studied right and high voltage or it's also called as power electronics now electronic students will have uh, this subject power electronics in their upcoming semester with high voltage high voltage means like 440 volts or um, maybe more than that high voltage high current high power so that is power electronics okay so i uh, suppose that you have uh, studied this and you have some knowledge about this analog electronics okay so some basic knowledge we will be uh, required digital electronics also i'll be explaining that as and when required now coming to the next part of electronic circuit that is digital electronic circuit now this digital electronic circuits are classified into combinational logic circuit and sequential logic circuits okay that that is what we have seen in our syllabus we have uh, you know second chapter logic gates which forms the base of any digital circuit that we are seeing in second chapter then this is third chapter combinational logic circuits and fourth chapter sequential logic circuits right so this is uh, you know uh, at upper level the classification of electronic circuits right then you can see some examples of digital circuits you can find so many examples right from you waking up in the morning to going to the bed in night right so let us see uh, some examples of digital circuits so we have cell phones mobile phones memory cards pen drives nowadays you find a digital or smart watch even a digital wall clock then laptops computers tablets or automated washing machines tv set set top box so these are all examples of digital circuits microwave ovens induction heating yeah, even traffic signals and you might have seen on traffic signal that uh, the counter is automated Like for red signal, it starts from uh, 60, comes down to zero, and then uh, red signal is turned to green signal with 25 seconds, and then it again comes down to zero. So it all is happening automatically. Okay. That is again an example of digital circuit. Then ATM machines, CDM machines, then even automatic vending machines. Now, uh, for example, automatic chocolate vending machine. If you put a coin of one rupee, then you will get five chocolates. 
or nowadays you see at uh, most of the railway stations they have digitized you know digital india under that they have set up uh, those uh, stations water stations where you put uh, 5 rupees and then you will get 1 uh, liter of water right so they are the example of this digital circuit even going at higher level we have satellites uh, satellites that uh, craft aircraft uh, aeroplanes okay etc they are all examples of digital circuits okay so uh, this is very short introduction that you need to have about digital circuits and uh, you need to just go and see go on thinking ki uh, any circuit if you get into or if you come across that is it analog or is it digital and just go on thinking in our next lecture we will actually see what what do we mean by analog signal what do we mean by digital signal right how they are uh, you know related or what is the difference between analog signal or digital signal okay so as of now this base uh, is uh, sufficient for you to understand about this subject okay so you can take on an assignment to uh, go through the syllabus just read on read syllabus that what are the uh, points covered in uh, different chapters okay so take that as an assignment the ground rule okay so uh, let us stop here for now and in next lecture we will see what do we mean by analog and digital signals and